Building an Open API Specification Using YAML In this lesson, we will look at how you can use YAML to define a new Open API Specification document. Open API Specification is a format that is being used to develop an API in a standardized format. Open API has been gaining immense interest in the recent times. Whenever you want to design an API and share it across your teams or other third-party teams, I strongly recommend you to create this Open API specification document. The advantage of using Open API is that since it is a standardized format for defining the APIs, all the stakeholders will be able to understand it a simpler way. If you are interested to learn more about using Open API specification to design and create the API documentation, I recommend you to consider the Open API specification for software developers course. You can check out this course under my profile. Let's get started with defining the Open API specification using YAML. For this video, I'm going to use consider a simple specification, namely the CMS system that we have seen before. CMS shortly refers to the college management system, wherein we are going to create a simple API that is going to get the list of all courses available in the system. Note that the whole purpose of this demo is to make sure that you understand how we apply YAML when you are creating the specification documents. In case you do not know about the Open API specification format, it is still okay. Just focus on how the YAML structure is being used to create these documents. To create the Open API specification, I am going to use one of the popular editor, namely Swagger Editor. To access this, you can go to editor.swagger.io. This is going to load up the Swagger Editor in your browser and you can see a sample Open API specification that has been given by this tool. This API has been defining the basic APIs that is required for a pet store. And in the left side, you can see the corresponding YAML structure. Anyway, since we are going to define from scratch, you can delete all these contents and let's get started with creating the Open API specification for CMS using YAML. First, let's include a comment. I want to say CMS Open API. So to create a doc comment, you use hash in the case of YAML. Once it is done, we can start with creating a simple key value pair. I use one of the key called Open API that refers to the version of the Open API that we are targeting. So in this document, I want to target the version 3.0.3. .3. You can ignore the, these errors that is appearing at the right side, the reason being this returns the list of all errors as per the structure that we have defined. Because uh, Open API specification requires certain mandatory parameters, it is going to validate continuously for the input that has been given and give us the corresponding warnings and the errors. By the end of this video, all these errors will be resolved as we will be creating or enhancing this API in the left hand side. Now this explains a simple key value pair. Here Open API refers to the key and 3.0.3 .3 refers to the value. Next, let's go and create a mapping. I'll create a new entry called info. Info is a key and this is going to contain multiple key value pairs. The title being Open API Specification for CMS. And I am going to enter another key value pair, namely version. Notice that info refers to the key and since YAML can contain a nesting of mappings along with the scalars and collections, you can include the key value pairs inside a single key. So in this case, info is considered as a complex type since it contains one or more key value pairs. It contains the first one as title with a value as open API specification for CMS and the second one being the version and then followed by 1.2. Let's look at the warning that is being given here that it should be string. The Open API specification expects a key called version that should be of string. Here we have mentioned 1.2. The tool is considering that we are trying to give a floating point value here. The value being 1.2. How do you force it to understand that 1.2 is a string? We have covered before how to represent or explicitly mention a type in YAML. To show this 1.2 as a string, you can use single quote 
or you can wrap them with double quotes. So since I'm using a single quote here, 1.2 is considered as a string and it is getting assigned to the field version. Let's go and add a similar key value pair and define a new type. Open API supports another key called external docs that refers to the documentation that is used for the third party people. This comes again with a set of key value pairs called description. Let's say more information about CMS API and it again contains with a URL that you can include to include a URL for this documentation. Let me give you an arbitrary value. So this defines another key value pair and a new type called external docs. Next, let's look at how you can use collections in YAML. The open API specification supports another field called servers that you can use to define a list of servers available for your API. When you have your web API service, you can host them in multiple services. So open API uses the servers section to define the URL wherein your web service is running. Since open API supports more than one service to be defined in the case of YAML, it is considered as a collection. As you know, to represent a collection in YAML, we use dash followed by the list of values. I can mention the URL as HTTP slash localhost followed by a port say 44333 slash API. This shows that our current web service is hosted under this URL. Since I'm going to support more than one URL, I need to enter the second one as URL followed by another URL value. However, the difference in this case is I want to make the port as configurable. Open API supports a concept called variables, wherein it's going to be very similar to what being used in the programming languages. Say it is used for staging API. When you do this, we need to define or declare the variable called port. Again, as per the open API specification, it uses a key called variables to define the list of all variables used within this URL. This is going to contain an enum. Here we can mention the list of all port numbers that needs to be accepted. Do not get confused with these formats. As I mentioned before, if in case you are not aware of open API structure, you can ignore about how it is being defined. Instead, concentrate on the key value pairs, collections, the usage of strings, ints, and so on. Now here I want to represent that the port variable can contain or can take in multiple port numbers, which is going to be a list of values. Similar to the way we had defined collections over here, I'm going to use the similar concept of using dash followed by the port number. I want to include multiple ports. Let's have these values. But you can again notice from the errors that these should be string. So what you can do, as I mentioned, you can do it as a single quote or you can make it as a double quotes. In either case, it works fine. Let's make this single wrap. And then it provides one more property called default among these two port numbers, which one to be considered as the default value. Let me consider the default as 44333. Again, this is considered as int by default. To make it forcefully use a string, I can use single quote, double quote, or you can use the tags. Here, what we are telling is consider this specific number as a string. Notice that we had used the secondary namespace that is represented using double exclamation marks. Once we would use the double exclamation followed by a specific type, namely string in this case, whatever the value is going to come here is going to consider as a string. Next, let's define tags. This is another simple structure that you can use to group the list of APIs under a specific name. This shows how to use another collection within a new type. Say operations about course. As we continuously develop the CMS API in the left hand side, in the right side you can see the respective representation of the API in the UI format. This is referred to as a Swagger UI in terms of APIs. 
So here so far we have seen the title and the list of additional details. The servers of course is giving an error that we will be resolving shortly. And we have the tag defined as courses. The final and the most important part with respect to the open API specification is defining the actual paths. These paths refers to the actual resources and the list of API endpoints within that resource. So for our current API, we are going to define a resource as courses with one API endpoint, namely get courses that is going to get all the courses from the system. Let's go and define that. To define the courses, we are going to use the key called paths. This is as per the specification. This is followed by the actual resource, namely courses in our case. This is followed by defining a list of key value pairs to define the endpoints for this courses. So we use one of the tag called summary to give a summary for this specific endpoint. Say operations about courses. Then we define the list, list of all verbs provided by the HTTP. In this case, since I want to get all the courses, it's going to be the HTTP get that needs to be represented using the keyword get. We can tag it with one or more values that we have defined before. Since I had defined only one tag, namely course, then I'm going to use it to represent here. Once it is done, again, we can give a summary for this specific verb called get. Get all the courses. Once this is done, then you can go ahead and define the responses and the request for this specific get request. Moreover, you just see how we are representing you these structures using YAML. No care to note that we have been using the spaces to represent the indentations. This also defines this structure. The tool is going to give you an error if you are not going to follow the indentation. For example, if I'm going to use something like this, then it means that it's not part of the paths that is being used here. It's going to give you a warning and an error if the indentation is not proper when you are creating this open API specification using the YAML structures. Let's get back and then define the responses for this API. Once it is done, then we are completed the open API specification document for the simple open API. 200. This is represents HTTP status code 200 that corresponds to the successful execution. Let's give a simple description for this as success. Similarly, you can define more response codes 400 for any client side errors, say incorrect input. In case any there is any default errors that you want to capture, then you can use default tag. So once it is done, we have done with completing the definition of the get for the courses resource. The right hand side, once you expand, you can notice that we have a single get that corresponds to slash courses. It gets all the courses. It doesn't have any parameters defined. Of course, it's optional. And we have the list of responses being defined with code description and corresponding links. This shows defining a simple API using the YAML structures. Notice from the left hand side how easy or how simple it is for humans or as a developer to understand the structure. Even if you don't know about the open API, by just looking at these structures, you can understand a lot easier. Like this refers to a version and this refers to some information that contains title and version. And this represents a server and looks like this is going to contain multiple values. Since we use indentations, it is structured naturally as and we can understand it in an easier fashion. This shows the power of using the YAMLs for defining these set of configuration details. Of course, you can enhance this API and include lot more endpoints and lot other resources. But our intention in this video is to show you how to use the YAML to define an open API specification. Once we have done with defining this, Let's copy and go to our YAML viewer and see how is the representation over here. Let me expand this a bit further. Once we have pasted, you can see the representation of YAML viewer for this open API specification. 
we have multiple keys defined namely open api info external doc servers tags and paths within each of these keys we have again have multiple key value pairs this means that these are representing a complex type you can have nested collections and nested key value mappings as well you can see here we have multiple hierarchy defined using the yaml i hope this video helped you to know how yaml is being used to define or design the api and represent in a neat format